Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 62nd episode and a massive thank you once again for the support you guys have been showing the series. I really do appreciate it. This is the penultimate of the pre-recorded episode. So after this, there's one more pre-recorded episode and then I'm sort of back up to date with you guys. Now, for those of you guys unaware, I am currently, at the time of this video going out, I'm actually in the US at a convention called Too Many Games. And it's it's pretty awesome. I, uh, I I hope I'm having a good time. I'm pretty damn sure I'm having a good time at this point, my friends. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't travel several thousand miles across the pond to not have fun, right? So, yeah. Yeah. All is well. But anyways, guys, today I thought we'd go ahead and start off by uh, just having a look around the world. Because as you guys may or may not notice, the brand new vanilla textures I managed to find... A pack which has all of the brand new vanilla textures ported over to the 1.13 snapshots. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to said resource pack in the description. It's not the official vanilla resource pack, but it does use the official textures. Like, they didn't actually port it over to 1.13. Someone in the community ported over the textures to 1.13. And as a result, we now have ourselves the brand new vanilla textures. Whereas before, if we just try to use the normal Mojang resource pack for the new textures, then only a handful of textures will change whereas this one as you can see has pretty much every single texture changed as it should be so yeah link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and use the brand new vanilla textures for your 1.13 snapshot worlds if you are playing them so i thought we could go ahead and start off by having a look around the world and uh, seeing how things look with the new vanilla resource pack so let's start off of course with flora valley our first ever settlement and uh yeah we're just gonna you know pretty much just sort of breeze through this thing more than anything i'm trying to look to to see if there's any textures that haven't been updated but for the most part it looks like they all have been you know we've got the new glowstone with its much less harsh texture now which is really really cool we've got the sort of bubbly cobblestone we've got the wood we've got all sorts of stuff we've got the new doors and oh boy there's lots and lots of stuff going on let's have a look at the fishies yep they're all doing ow hey 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 rude Rude. That's very, very rude. Right, can we, like, not be dead, please? That'd be great. But anyways, yeah, let's continue having a bit of a look around. It's going to be roughly the same textures all around the place in this uh, settlement, right? Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. <laughs> in 18W16A, if you try to use the new vanilla textures, um, horses are a bit messed up. Um... Yeah, that's a thing. That is fixed in the recent snapshots slash pre-releases, though, so that's no worries right there. Uh, but aside from that, I, I, I guess, uh, you know, a cool idea would be to go ahead and have a little bit of a fly around, see what this place looks like from the top. Hey, looking pretty good. Hey, that is pretty good, actually. Huh, okay, cool. Right, uh, should we have a little bit of a look around at some of the other places we've got going on here? Like, we, maybe we can have a look at the spawners and uh, the mansion, of course. Let's head down here. Let's see how the spawner room is looking. Uh, like I say, more than anything, I wanted to see if there's any textures that haven't been updated, which need to be. Slash, I want to see if there are any rooms or builds in my world now that don't really look too great in the new vanilla textures. But for the most part, they do still seem pretty darn awesome. Yeah, as you can see, we've got the bones and... This room is still looking pretty good. Oh, I like that floor now. That is nice. I really, really like the new mossy cobblestone texture. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, not bad. Yep, I hear you, Mr. Zomble, but uh, I'm not too fussed about you right now. Uh, what I am fussed about is going up to the mansion and seeing how that looks with the new vanilla textures of awesomeness. Let's have a look at the little nature pit right here. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I really like the new vines. I think the new vines are wonderful. I think they're really, really good. Okay, so let's go up here and let's have a look and see how the garden is looking. Ah, yeah, you see? The reason, you know, why I'm so dubious is because the they changed the wheat texture to be a lot more yellow, right? So compared to the uh, textures of the potatoes and the carrots, these are a lot more yellow now. So, yeah, do you know what? I actually... I think I kind of like it. I think a little bit more greenery would be kind of nice around here. I think there's a little bit too much yellow. We could probably uh, do with amending that. But anyways, let's have a look around the edge here. Yep, this is all still looking pretty good, isn't it? Not bad. Wait, why is there a... I don't understand why there is a block missing there. But oh well, that'll be something we fix eventually. Uh, let's carry on though. Yeah, this is all still looking pretty good. I like the flowers. I really love the new flower textures. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I genuinely do. Like, look at them. 
They look a little bit more 3D now, I feel. Like, there's like a sort of like a little bit of light on there, like in the middle there, as if the sun was shining on it, which obviously right now it isn't because it's nighttime. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty good. Let's have a look on the inside of the mansion. Uh, yeah. This is still looking pretty good. I really love the new armor textures. I will say that. I, I am a big, big fan of the new armor textures. Like, these look so much better than previously, where it was just all sort of one gold thing. Whereas now, there's a lot more detail to it. And, I don't know, to me, that's that's really, really cool. Uh, new bed textures, obviously. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of a sleep. And, uh, yeah, we'll carry on. All right, looking good. Uh, let's have a look and see how the aquarium's looking. Yep, that's looking pretty good. The new sort of... Uh, wait, I can't remember if stained glass was re uh, revised. I think it was. I think it was revised to be a lot more sort of uh, transparent. Like, there's not too many harsh, like, pixels on top of there. Like, you can see, like, very faintly, there's a few faint pixels on there just to say it's glass. But aside from that, uh, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good in there. Really love the new sapling textures. Uh, let's have a look over here. Yep, the pods all has been retextured. But this will m maybe likely be uh, revised to grass. A lot of you guys were saying you preferred having grass in here. But, uh, you know, that'd be something we can do a little bit later, perhaps. Uh, yep, this is still looking good. And, yeah, just the same sort of blocks all over the place, really. Uh, I think it'd be a nice idea to have a look on the ceiling. Again, sort of from the sky, just to see how it looks. Uh, yeah! Still a good combo! Still a good combo! Stripped birch logs. And spruce wood uh, planks still looking pretty good. We've got ourselves the bridge here with the revised cauldron textures looking very good as well, if I do say so myself. Uh, aside from that, everything else is still looking pretty good. I really, really like the new plank textures. I think they're really, really nice. If not a little bit sort of bubbly, I think they could potentially do with uh, sort of in air quotes flattening a little bit. Uh, but anyways, let's have a look at the builds that we made in the last episode. Yep, there's the wheat farm again. We've got the sugar cane. And, uh, yeah, everything's everything's looking good. Oh, how about the tower? Let's have a look at the tower. Yeah, again, still looking pretty good. Like, there's not much difference. Because, because the uh, stripped uh, logs are new textures, they haven't been revised. They are the exact same as they were before. So, you know, just something to bear in mind. And that goes for any of the more recent blocks. Uh, concrete, I think, is another thing that wasn't revised because it's still, uh, you know, fairly new in the grand scheme of things, only being introduced in 1.12. Uh, but, yeah, again, little bonsai trees in the, in the flower pots looking pretty good. And, yeah, just everything still looking pretty all right. All right, let's have a look at this in here. Uh, you can notice here that I've actually gone ahead and renamed these items now. Some of them don't have names. Yeah, because I didn't have enough levels at the time, but we could probably do that again just in a little bit. Uh, but aside from that, everything is still looking pretty good. Alright, uh, should we have a look like way up top? See how that's looking as well? Uh, yep, yeah, again, still looking pretty good, but it's the same textures uh, throughout the place. Uh, let's have a look out here real quick. Yeah! Not bad! Not bad at all. Right, how's uh, Elytra is looking pretty bad, to be honest with you guys. But, oh, well. Uh, right, I just want to, like... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay! I thought I was about to die. Anyway, so let's go down here. Let's have a look at the uh, brand new area that we made in uh, the last episode. Again, we want to go ahead and make ourselves a fish tank. We're going to do that in this episode. We're going to do some interior design. But I thought I'd start off just by uh, just by having a bit of a browse around the world just to see how things are looking, see if there's anything that needs revising. But uh, in all honesty, I think this is looking pretty good. I don't think there's that many things, if at all, that need doing. Yeah. All right. How about, uh, how about Python Industries? Let's have a quick look at this. And then we'll get on with uh, a wee bit of building. There's not going to be too much building uh, since we're doing a lot of exploring around the place. Uh, yeah, this is still looking pretty good. Uh, iron door textures. I almost, Again, I almost feel like these should be a little bit more, in air quotes, flat. I think it's a little too 3D. It's a little bit too much 3D, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's just me who uh, has that opinion. But anyways, uh, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, good old iron block. Hey, look at that. We just filled up this uh, entire double chest of uh, iron blocks. Looking good. We've got a little pond over here. Yep, still looking pretty good. All right. Uh, we've got the stone factory. We've got ourselves the cacti farm. Yeah, all of this is looking good. It really, really is. I'm still in the 16A snapshot right now because at the time of me recording this, which is the 18th of June, uh, that is still the latest, more, most reliable snapshot. Now, obviously, once this episode comes out, there is most likely like another pre-release, which maybe fixes some of the bugs that I've been outlining for the, fa uh, for the past few episodes. But, you know, uh, I'm not here to test them just yet. I get back on the 26th of June, for those of you guys unaware. And then after that, you know, episodes will be 
all back up to date and everything will be nice. All right, and final thing is going to be just having a quick look around here. Yeah, just just all in all, like they always say, if things look good in the vanilla resource pack, I'm, I'm talking like the absolute default vanilla resource pack. People normally say, if things look good in the default re vanilla resource pack, they will most certainly look good in any other resource pack you use. And uh, to be honest, I, I I can attest to that. Like all of this stuff is looking pretty good still. Uh, I'm definitely okay with what we've got going on. All right, so. Uh, I think it'll be a nice idea to get up to the top of the tower. We need to get our coal box out because we are going to do a little bit of fish capturing and putting in a pond and stuff like that. It's going to be a good time, my friend. So, yeah, let's get ourselves prepared and uh, let's get on with it. Th this thing and for those of you guys uh, who are wondering yes we are now permanently going to be using the new vanilla resources because to be honest with you guys we have to get used to them anyway right so you know it's best to start it early so when the switch actually happens it's not too much of a shock you know best get used to them now rather than be shocked and angry about it later you know it gives you a chance to uh, get used to it so again link in the description you know you know kudos to the guy who ported over the textures it's really really cool of him to do that so yeah amazing stuff anyways yeah like I say uh, rambling over let's get ourselves ready and let's do some interior decorating all right guys so let's get to work on this little floor fish tank type thing huh now the first thing i'm going to do is actually work on the top sections i'm going to go put some bark blocks down here and then i'm also going to go ahead and uh, give this a go real quick so rather similar to what we've already got going in terms of the you know the block palette for the actual build uh, i think it be, could be a cool idea to uh, give this thing a go as well obviously if it fails miserably then we can just you know we can amend it i guess uh so boo 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 okay now i'm thinking of making this like maybe two or three blocks deep uh yeah so technically we need to go down two more because you know one of them is going to be the the, the bed as it were so all we need to do is whip out the sand here let's get that chucked in and then we also need to go ahead and uh, chuck up some sand up on the walls here although also in the walls we're going to put down some glowstone so this place is all lit up and looking good as if it's always meant to be there i guess uh so let me whip out some of this and that'll be the extent of the glowstone. And then we can place the rest of this in. And that should just about do it. All right, so let's just hop out of here. Okay, let's place this thing back in. And now we can go to town on a bunch of decorative stuff. So I'm thinking of maybe bringing out a couple bits of coral here. Just a couple, like nothing too, nothing too, you know, out there, I guess. Uh, I also, I kind of want to try and keep you know all of the glowstone you know showing through so right uh let's whip out some of these maybe we can chuck some on the bottom here so maybe we can have like three there three there as well uh we might as well keep that block open so we can get in and out of this place uh what else have we got so we've got some coal that we can actually put down so maybe we can grab a couple of these so we can have one down there. We can have one, like, at the bottom there. All right, folks. So as you can see... Oh, what? <laughs> this fishy is going a little bit nuts. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to a little bouncy sesh, huh? Right. Uh, coal fans? Do we reckon we could put, like, a coal fan in there? Like, a little red one or something? I don't think we've got any red in here just yet. Maybe we can chuck that in there. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty decent. Now, obviously, the only thing is, we need to bear in mind, we need to keep some uh, blank spaces next to the soil sand, otherwise the uh, the bubble columns will, you know, dissipate. They'll go away, basically. So, yeah, that's just something to bear in mind. But anyways, I think we're just about done here. So, all we need to do now is start placing in the little uh, fishies, and then we are good. Right, I guess it would be a nice idea if I was to do that, so at least I can't just hop out and die, because that would be rather mean wouldn't it uh right but anyways i think that's just about it so let's get you all placed in you see now i'm not entirely i'm not entirely sure about this i don't think this uh stripped birch logs work in the floor like at all in fact so uh, i'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of them and i think we're just going to use some uh, regular spruce logs in place of it yeah you see this in my opinion looks a lot better yeah not bad not bad okay cool right do we want to like maybe lead the carpet all the way over there yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay. Uh, we've got some stone left as well, so I could probably get away with doing uh, a little bit more here. So if I was to go ahead and uh, place in like a little bit of a work surface there. Yes, yes, that could probably work quite nicely. Uh, and then maybe we could have 
in air quotes, a plate on there, right? Like a little plate. And then if we had, we've got a crafting table here. Maybe we can have a chest on the little work surface as well. So uh, maybe we could chuck that there. Maybe we can have like a brewing stand on there and some other functional stuffs perhaps. Aha, there we go. So brewing stand. And then maybe we could have just a couple of decorative things just down here as well. Yeah, little micro brewing area. Awesome stuff. All right, uh, I mean, I guess we could potentially do something here, but to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of tempted to just do that. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Now, I did say I was going to put a flower pot in here, so let's go ahead and give it a go. In fact, can we? No, we can't. Okay, <laughs> I just needed to confirm with myself just to make sure I wasn't being like a massive nincompoop. I definitely, I don't know, I, gen I genuinely feel like some of the aquatic stuff, so like some of the aquatic plants and whatnot should be able to be placed in plant pots. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe there's like water next to it or something. I don't know. I, I just think it'll be really, really nice. I really do. Uh, I'm going I'm to pick up a flower and put it in a pot. All right, so let's grab you and put you in there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, so yeah, we got ourselves a little a floor fish tank. We got ourselves a nice little area down here, nice little under the stairs utility area as well. And now we've got this upstairs to decorate, I guess. So again, this should be fairly simple when I really think about it. So again, maybe we can have like another plate. May again, maybe like another chest or something like that. You know, there's loads and loads of things you could put down that uh, could be construed as being like, you know, a, a decorative item, as it were. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's place ourselves in a chest there. And I'm also going to place in another chest there. And I want to put a bed in here and a couple of slabs like that. So it kind of looks like you're walking towards the bed, I guess. So, uh, again, place that in there, place that in there. Bed's going to go in here, and then maybe we could have something else going in here. Hmm. Although, with that said, maybe we could just do that, and then the chest could go here, and then maybe we could put the crafting table over here, and then we could have, like, a furnace, and then maybe, like, another chest or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just uh, sort of, you know, thinking aloud at this point, but... Uh, yeah, you guys get what I'm doing. You guys get what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm going to go uh, decorate this place, and then we're pretty much there. Aha! All right, so let's get this final thing in. Get ourselves an anvil. Got the ender chest. Got the bed placed down. Let's actually sleep in it. Ah, oh, nice little sleeping post. Oh, this is cool. And we've got ourselves a little flower pot here. Mini utility area. Again, another utility area. And yet again, another utility area. And a fourth one down here as well. They've got a little fish tank down here. Oh, dude, this house is looking banging. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we managed to do the interior of this. Although, with that said, I still want to kind of see if I could... <clears throat> Can I reach that? Yep, there we go. All right. Uh, hmm. I mean, we could try and make this... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do up there. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we could place down some flowers, but it's just going to be sort of willy-nilly, isn't it? So, I don't know. I mean, we could, we could give it a go at the very least. Uh, so let's just get back up here. Do, 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 do. Boop. In you go, and in you go. All right, cool. And you know what I'm also tempted to do? If I was to quickly chuck this back out, you can actually place down sea pickles, uh, you know, without, you know, having water on it. It just means it won't produce light. So actually, maybe what we could do, just to add a little bit of variation, uh, if I can, that is. <clears throat> Wait, I can't? Well, that's weird. Maybe it's only on certain blocks then. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, uh, that's a thing I just learned today. Hm. Oh, well. Not too bad. Not too bad. That place is nicely decorated now, I guess. And uh, everywhere else is looking pretty good. So I think... I think I'm ready to call this uh, little this little house complete. It's like our little home from home. Like, if we need to go to the tower for any reason, we could just sleep down here. And, you know, we've got utility areas all over the place around here. And we've got ourselves a nice little neighborhood as well. Oh, it's looking good, guys. It's looking good. I'm a big, big fan of this. I really am. So... Yeah, now that we've got that done, uh, we will be going ahead and ending the episode. Uh, it may be a shorter one or a longer one than normal. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not even entirely sure how the little, how long the mini tour lasted. So, you know, that's a thing. So I apologize for the length of the episode if it's shorter or longer. I'm hoping it'll be normal length. But anyways, uh, we have the common question of the video as per the norm coming from Dude Boy Man, who says, please build a large scale brewery. 
love the series. Hey, man, I appreciate the kind words as always. Honestly, every single time you guys say that, like, you love the series, that that, that goes a long way. It goes a long, long way towards my motivation to continue this series. Like, I genuinely do appreciate it. So, you know, thank you so much for that. But, uh, yeah, a large-scale brewery. Now, that is definitely a build for Python Industries, isn't it? Oh, yeah, my Elytras have died as well, so that's a thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really, really cool idea. I think the only other person who I've seen has made, like, a fully automatic brewery. Like, I mean, every now and again, you'll need to, like, refill the ingredients. But aside from that, like, Etho, I'm pretty sure, is the only person who's got, like, a, a fully automatic brewery. I'd love to be able to try to experiment with automatic breweries myself. Maybe not fully automatic, but semi-automatic. So, again, you know, we, we just have some resources. We chuck them in, and then there's, like, oh, hey... Brewing stand for nether warts and you get orchid potions filtered onto another brewing stand which will convert it into a potion and then another brewing stand where it converts it or, you know, lengthens or strengthens it and then it goes off to a chest, you know? Or if they're, or we could put like a toggle option to make it thrown as well. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but that's definitely something I'd like to try and do. It would be a massive redstone project, one that I've never done before. Uh, so yeah, it's going to take some time, my friends. It's going to take some planning. It's going to take some time. And yeah, when it happens, it'll be awesome. It really, really will be. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be time to end this particular episode here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. It's not often I do like interior design stuffs with you guys. So I hope you guys have learned a thing or too about uh, how to make your interiors uh, you know feel a bit more alive especially in the aquatic update you know there's there's no excuse really like you can put fish tanks everywhere you can put fish tanks literally everywhere and it doesn't take long to make them look good just go to the ocean go to a reef get yourself a shulker box full of stuffs uh oh and away you go what the heck has happened here look this guy's died one of my fish have died what the heck I don't even know, man. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.